What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a few things that I would like to discuss with you and first off, let's just go ahead and dive into the biggest portion of today's news slash what coulda, shoulda, frickin' could have been and possibly a new custom figure for you guys so let's go ahead and just dive right in let's go ahead and separate it right here because you guys uh you probably know by now if you didn't know well you, now you know i know it's been in the rumor mail it's been talked about it's been confirmed but it was officially confirmed like six to ten hours ago i can't really remember but anyways john morrison johnny football johnny mundo johnny johnny nitro johnny johnny good and sash has signed with wwe it is official john morrison is with wwe so this means a few things first of all um it does mean that we're going to get more John Morrison Elite figures because as soon as the Hardy Boys sign, what happened? Just Hardy Boys, Hardy Boys, Hardy Boys. We have like 10 of each now uh, coming out with Matt and Jeff Hardy. So that does mean that now that we have John Morrison, guys, we should be getting maybe a flashback Johnny Nitro. Maybe we'll get, you know, uh, uh, 2009 and a little bit around that era John Morrison. And then we could have an updated John Morrison once, you know, uh, he gets on TV and all of that good stuff. So how did he announce it? He actually just took to social media. He took to his Twitter account. He took to his Instagram account. He just kind of got on there and pretty much confirmed it. He said confirm with a green check mark and was like, you know what, Brad, I'm signed to WWE. And that was pretty much it. He announced it to the world. And uh, now the big thing is, will he be on Raw? Will he be on SmackDown? Or will he be where I think he should go? And that is NXT. I think he should go to NXT. I think that would be perfect for his brand. I think he would fit perfectly in with the Finn Balors and the Adam Coles and the Matt Riddles and the Keith Lees. Can you imagine the matches that we could get between all of those men. I would prefer him to go to NXT. Will that happen? Maybe that won't happen. Just maybe he worked it out where he wanted to be main roster. I know that he can attract some eyes to the product. I always liked John Morrison a lot. I've always been a big fan of him. Um, when he was Johnny Nitro and a part of Eminem, uh, as a kid, I hated him. I was like, God, I hate that prick. I want to. I hope he gets hit by a bus. But now, you know, as I got older and enjoyed his entering work, um, he's super athletic. I mean, he looks like a million bucks to this day. The dude is super athletic, super just flexible. Um, I mean, he, he's a 10 out of 10. I mean, look at this man. He is he is goals if you've ever seen it. Look at him. So, John Morrison coming to WWE, what does this mean? Do I think they're going to push him correctly? That's a big thing, guys. If he goes main roster, I mean, we know that he's not going to do anything, but I think that uh, he could be used as a great, um, a great portion of Raw or SmackDown. I also, but I just think that the NXT portion would be a lot better. I think that John Morrison would fit perfectly into that window of NXT and uh, with uh, with his athleticism and everything like that, I think he could actually burn the damn arena down with talents like Adam Cole and uh, Finn Balor. I'm sure that he would be a babyface, even though he works better as a heel, I would say. I think he'd work better as a prick heel. I mean, he looks like a million bucks. Like, he's easy. He's not relatable because of how beautiful he is. You know what I'm saying? So, I think he would work better as a heel, but let me know down below, guys. Do you hope he's on Raw, SmackDown, or NXT? That is something, but uh, I'm just excited that he signed. Again, we are going to get new elites of him. We're going to get new figures of him. We'll probably get flashback figures of him. I'm not sure about Joey Mercury. Not sure if he's still on a Legends deal. I know he was running around the Indies and in Impact, I think, with Johnny Football. So I'm not sure exactly what they're thinking there. Maybe he'll show up with him. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, John Morrison signing with WWE is awesome. I'm excited for it. Can't wait to see you know what he does and everything like that. Moving on forward, guys, I did want to get into something because I did want to to talk about this and you know we talk about the new universal championship you know we have the blue universal championship you know that we've discussed before but you guys know that Bray Wyatt did unveil that new universal championship or fiend universal championship on Friday night Smackdown on Fox and uh, to be honest with you I mean I guess it's cool that it's different you know it's not you know anything great it's not immaculate um, you know it's just basically his face plastered on the strap and it's stretched out and I mean I guess that's cool whatever I'm not the big I'm not a big fan of it by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys. I know we've covered this title before, but I think this right here would have been perfect to use for his custom championship. How you have the Fiend face on the plate, and then you have the buzzards on the side. You have the chainsaws here. They say hurt. They say heal. It says Bray Wyatt on the side plates, and um, 
um, I do have to repaint this like the eyes are like chipping off and stuff I do have to repaint this middle plate but I think something like this would have been perfect for the Fiend and you know it's kind of crazy is because I remember uh, months back when uh, he was going for the championship or a couple months ago or a month ago whenever it was when Bray Wyatt was actually going for the Universal Championship I said if he won the Universal Championship I would actually use this in videos to represent his championship and then they end up making him a custom title and not only that he is the Universal Champion and everything like that so now I get to use it in videos going forward I'm not going to get you know a custom one made of that one if somebody were to make that and they want to send it or whatever maybe I'd use it but I'm going to be using this one I think this is much more beautiful than the one that you know WWE made I like the brown strap um, the fi the fiend face being on the middle plates great I love the personalization with the chainsaws and the buzzards I just think it's epic so this will be the championship I use going forward as far as predictions videos anything like that with the fiend I know that the regular Bray Wyatt is going to be using the blue universal championship and then the fiend will be coming out with you know his face title which means he's probably not going to lose the title anytime soon I wouldn't expect him to lose the title anytime soon. I would probably expect him to carry it at least to WrestleMania. A lot of people saying Roman Reigns is going to win the Royal Rumble and he'll go on to WrestleMania to defeat Bray Wyatt. And if I'm going to WrestleMania, I hope that's not the match. I just don't want to see that. I would book it uh, the way they're booking it right now. I could see CM Punk winning the Royal Rumble. I could see Ali winning the Royal Rumble and then changing to fight Brock Lesnar because, you know, Brock Lesnar cost him the money in the bank at that at, uh, money in the bank back in the summertime. So, I mean, there's a lot of questions. We'll get into the Royal Rumble once we get into it. I mean, it's not that far away, which is kind of ridiculous. The Royal Rumble is kind of it's almost upon us, so it's kind of ridiculous, but um, I did want to talk about that new custom Universal Championship, and I also wanted to talk about Johnny Football because uh, he just signed with WWE, and uh, I, I remember what was it, like a couple months ago or something they were talking about him signing, or they said he had signed, and uh, we talked about it a little bit on the channel, I do believe, but um, I'm just glad that it's confirmed. He confirmed it so it's not any dirt sheets or anything he legitimately tagged them and I think even WWE tweeted about it so it is official and we just don't know where he's going to turn up will it be NXT Raw or Smackdown I don't think it'll be NXT because usually they put guys like that in the crowd you guys know at takeovers and they showcase them and then they show up later on and debuts and stuff but um, I guess we'll see if he shows up on Fox or Raw to be honest with you Monday Night Raw is so garbage I really I, I guess he would he could you know, maybe lift the show up I mean that would make me tune in for a few weeks you know to see what what's going on with him, but uh, Kevin Owens is keeping that show afloat over there. But anyways, not only did I want to talk about Wyatt and Morrison, which were the two big storylines, uh, you guys know that Cody Rhodes is defending his Iron Man Championship versus Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Football, or Johnny Football on, uh, you guys know, Vindication, Johnny Gargano. And since he's defending the championship against Johnny Gargano, I was going to make a custom attire for both men going into that matchup. And I could not think of anything really for Cody as far as a formula work that I really wanted to do. If you guys have any suggestions, I don't want to use, you know, something that's going to require a lot of paint because you guys know paint chipping and stuff like that. I like to keep it very simplistic. If I can just like swap some boots or maybe make him some custom boots like this, this is what I wanted to show you guys. I did make him some custom laceless boots boots uh, that are black with white outsoles, so I figured that would look pretty good. Just go with an all-black attire like that. And I think that's what he's going to wear, at least at this juncture. If you guys can come up with anything different, then I would love to hear it down in the comment section below. Uh, but I couldn't think of anything else, at least right now. So if you guys have any cool ideas or anything like that, um, it'd be cool to make him like an Iron Man attire, like for Cody. But I, I can't uh, do that at this moment. And you guys know I'm already working on the show. And once I get to their matchup and everything like that, I really don't have any time to work on any customs. So it's basically from here on out every day, it is nonstop filming so I don't have any time to do any customs or anything like that unless it's like surgery or something for a video I cannot use you know any spare time to work on a custom for the pick fed at this moment because I'm just filming 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 so uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of that do you want to see the black and white boots or do you think I should do something different at this moment I am going with the black boots unless somebody else tells me something different or something cool that I like down in the comment section but I thought the all black look would look cool would look cool especially if I can get like some black uh, arm tape for this arm and maybe this arm. I don't know. It would be a cool, especially if uh, they're going to be tying it up in a street fight. I think that would be a really nice touch to have the all black look with the black tape and everything. And you guys will see what Johnny Football wears at the event. Tons of surprises for you guys at Hell's Gate that you guys are going to be like, what the hell's going on, Brad? So we'll just see about that. But I think that pretty much does it for today's video. I wanted to discuss Bray Wyatt and the custom championship. How the I think this is how it should have looked. I think this is the best way to do it. I kind of want to get 
a new fiend made because this one looks like garbage. I really, I'm, I don't know. I'm just sick of looking at it. It's not horrific, but I, I don't know. I feel like I could do one better. Just again, I don't really have the time at the moment with the Hell's Gate filming underway and, you know, just trying to get that show as done as much as possible. Let me know down in the comment section below who you'd like to see John Morrison feud with. I think Kevin Owens would be excellent. Seth Rollins would be excellent. Randy Orton would be excellent. I mean, there's so many great talents on both Raw and SmackDown that I would like to see John Morrison go up with. But if I, again, if I were pitching it, I would go NXT first um, and then later on go to the main roster or something. But maybe he'll show up in the Rumble. Maybe he'll show up before that. We won't know unless we shut the hell up and find out. Also, let me know down below about the Black Boot Cody. But that pretty much does it for today's video. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I'm going to go film some Hell's Gate. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.